guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Renee and this is Monet Baby. This is my pregnant day in the life. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on what you guys think of today's video. I love hearing what you guys think of the videos. I know Renee, stop blabbering on and just start the day in the life already. Well, here you go. I wake up the same way I do every day, tired and grumpy. That is because I am pregnant and pregnancy is so much fun. If I was lucky, I got a total of 15 minutes of sleep that night. When you're 36 weeks pregnant trying to get out of bed in the morning, you feel like a turtle that's flopped over on its shell. Thanks to pregnancy, I wake up congested every single morning. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Did you sleep good last night? Is it pretty? It's pretty. Where's the elf? First thing that we do when we come downstairs is find the little elf on the shelf we have. There she is! Wow, what is she doing? I see. Yeah. While Julia goes to the bathroom in the morning, I usually get scared by myself every time I look in the mirror because of how beautiful I am when I wake it. up. Growing a baby has also made me break out uncontrollably. Thanks to the enormous amounts of sleep that I get every night, I need coffee in order to function every day. coffee is so easy to make every morning. I need the perfect ratio of two different types of creamers, as well as some sugar and some fancy whipped cream stuff to top it right off. It's usually so strong that for a straight hour, my baby is doing somersaults. My daughter also hates breakfast, so in order to try and get her to eat a little something, I need to give her four different Whoa. types of cereal every morning. Oh, Sit on your butt. Sprinkle a little sugar. Sprinkle a little. Just a little bit. Oh my God. A little bit. Okay. I did. Where on this one? There you go. Good job. And then when she doesn't eat that, I just wind up giving her a cup of applesauce and call it a day. Every day after breakfast, I need to sweep the floor, but I also have to do this after lunch and dinner and sometimes in between because we just keep the floor so clean. Being so far along in my pregnancy, it also really tires me out. So when I think I have a second to just sit down and relax, I usually have to get right back up again and go pee.
I am always doing non-stop laundry all day. It is never ending. shower every other day because I am super lazy. I'm either putting my hair in a braid or taking it out from the braid every day. I also don't have time to put on tons of makeup. My daily makeup routine consists of just three things. Concealer, mascara, and some eyebrow stuff since pregnancy caused me to lose my eyebrows. Sometime in the morning, I make my way into Julia's playroom. This is the messiest room in the house. My daughter likes to throw all her toys around instead of play with them. So it usually takes me an hour or two just to clean this room alone. That is why it only gets cleaned once or twice a week. After I spend two hours cleaning my daughter's playroom, I have to hurry up and vacuum it before she comes in and messes it all up again. Aren't kids great? <laughs> After lunch, I like doing something fun with Julia, whether it's playing with Barbies, doing a craft, or even painting her nails. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Mix it all up. While Julia does her craft, it's a perfect time for mommy to empty and load the dishwasher. Sometimes I do get a very rare second to sit down, relax, and feel baby move around. This is usually while I'm folding laundry. days also consist of me either making the bed or changing the sheets.
as well as cleaning the bathroom. and mopping the floor. On days when I am nesting extra hard, I also like to get on my hands and knees and scrub the grout. Then we head over to the living room to clean up more of a mess that my daughter made and vacuum. By the time I'm done cleaning the living room, it's usually time to start dinner. That way, when daddy comes home from work, dinner will be all ready to go and we can eat. After dinner, we partially clean up and then head into the living room to relax. And by relax, I mean clean up some more. I am always baking something delicious because I am pregnant and I always want something yummy. That. Ice cream? <laughs> Mariano is in the shower right now and we are having a little snack before bedtime. Uh oh, go get it. After snack time, we always play together as a family for a few minutes. Then we brush our teeth, wash our hands, wash our face, and off to bed. Have your water cup. Julia used to be a horrible sleeper, so we have a super strict bedtime routine. This consists of reading two books, uggamuggas, songs, tons of hugs and kisses, and then finally we tuck her into bed with her cup of water, and on a good day it takes her about a half hour to fall asleep. During this time, we are not allowed to shut our light off or else she freaks out. While she's falling asleep, I usually just lay in bed on my phone or feel baby move all around while Mariana falls asleep. When I'm finally able to head downstairs, I shut the light off, creep down the steps, and guess what I get to do? I get to clean the kitchen up for dinner. By the time I'm done cleaning the kitchen, it's about 11 o'clock, and I'm finally able to go into the living room, sit down in my spot with my cup of tea, and relax. Oh, 